Ladies and gentlemen, as you're most likely aware, this is Keeves, and we are playing Hearts of Iron 3 with the Black Ice mod. We are playing as Hungry. The year is 1959, and as you can see, Hungry is bloody huge. We are working on finishing off South Africa. I think this is the last, this should be the last um, victory point over South Africa right here. Yeah, so these guys are going terribly, terribly slow, and they're supposed to get there on November. I don't think it's going to be that long, but it's still going to take a stupid amount of time for them to actually get there, because, yeah, that's just the way it is. Other than that, we got some troops over here that are suffering from supply issues because supposedly my troops cannot even or my logistics and supply guys can't even properly supply our own areas so I had to bring a, a unit back to grab that and then allowing my troops to move through oh look at that so that's it. Can I continue? Oh, I can continue. I can continue if I want to. <sighs> Question is, do I want to? Let's look at this. As Hungry, let's, let's do a rundown of where we are right now. As Hungry, we started off with, this is the best way to look at it, uh, no, 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 no. There. There's Hungry. <laughs> because I took every single province and maxed it out. In. So there is Hungary. And we took Romania, Bulgaria, um, Turkey, Iraq, France, a little bit of United Kingdom there, all of the United Kingdom, Great Britain, Ireland. India, you know, Afghanistan, oh sorry, Afghanistan right here, the Pakistan area, Iran, um, Afghanistan is our puppet, Nepal is also our puppet, and Bhutan is our puppet, and Burma is our puppet, so we got a bunch of puppets there. Um, we also have South Africa and so on. Um, let's take a look. Also, um, how do I want to do this? I think you know what. I think I'm going to end this this video here, here, but or here, 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 here. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to put all these units, all my units underneath this HQ here, just so we see our final tally of troops that we had. Our, our planes number over 200 planes. We had next to nothing in Navy. That's okay. But I think when it comes to this playthrough, for the most part, we just, we kind of accomplished everything. We've accomplished so much. So, so, so much. So, as a single country, like, we can keep going. We could try to invade Australia and, um, and, you know, South, South America and all these other things take over all of Africa and I, I'm sure we should we be able to do that but I'm kind of feeling done with this campaign I'm feeling like we've we've accomplished I wouldn't say all that there is to accomplish but we've accomplished a lot we have over two million units <sighs> yeah two million units uh, 89 divisions so, lots of troops there. 
we produce over 1600 industrial capacity we have over you know almost 3000 in manpower loads of tech we have some bunch of carriers that we're going to be done we're making some more divisions mechanized divisions that we're going to be super heavies because why not um, and they were going to take two years to build um, yeah so here we are right now uh, I think we got massive uh, victory conditions allies and the not uh, and the commies didn't even come close uh, to what the Axis was managed to do. And it was, I think it was equally in part with a lot of different things, like the Spanish state becoming part of the, the Axis really helped in Africa. Um, Portugal was kind of useless, didn't really do anything. Um, taking out the UK eased a lot of the pressure on Italy and, and um, Germany, because as soon as I took out the UK, here in Great Britain, you started seeing Germany push back against the Soviets, like, almost instantly. Um, Japan was, for the most part, useless. Didn't accomplish hardly anything. Barely even got the Philippines down. Um, in fact, couldn't even get the Philippines out completely. Uh, let's see what else most of South America was all um, allies you know North and South America were relatively untouched but that could have changed for Sweden the only neutral countries in the entire game were Sweden Ecuador and Haiti however Haiti is oh hey look look at that we do have because we took out the UK we had lands um, here in the uh, in the Caribbean. Didn't even think about that. So I could have landed in the Caribbean and done invasions of, you know, Dominican Republic and Cuba and all these little islands here. Could have maybe even launched an invasion against Florida and worked in the U.S. Of course I didn't, but it was a possibility. And I still could, technically, but I think, you know, we're kind of a part in the game where it's going to be just kind of a cakewalk taking South Africa. Like, we would take South Africa, then we'd take um, Belgium, and then we take, you know, all Africa here, and that would be a cakewalk. And then it'll be... A lot of the fighting, I think, will just be too easy, in a sense. Maybe the U.S. will put up a decent fight. Actually, the U.S. probably would put up a really decent fight, but by the time it gets to that point and we can land our troops in the US um, after securing Africa I don't really know how much more they can do against us plus I'm kind of itching to play a new game <laughs> yeah yeah, I think I'm going to end this here. I, you know, I'm kind of on the... I was on the fence there, but... Yeah. I'm going to end it. So, I hope you guys really enjoyed this series thus far. I hope you really enjoyed um, the... Uh, well, some of the fights were just fantastic. Mostly against uh, the UK. The UK um, battle that lasted, you know, over the Britain here. It lasted a good amount of time. Well six years all together that invasion that took a that took a quite a lot a lot of uh, micromanaging a lot of fixing it was really on the edge there when we were just literally at zero manpower for a while um, bringing troops back uh, getting their their manpower back up and sending them in it back into the fight um, So I learned a lot in this playthrough, however, you know, a lot of gameplay um, type things. I think I've learned the value of bombers, mostly with the Nepal and 
Bhutan invasion there. Um, bombers were key in taking those two uh, well dug, dug in positions. Uh, if it wasn't for those bombers, I don't think we would have been able to take them. So it kind of opened my eyes as to the how bombers would have and could have made my invasions easier on several fronts. Um, it would have definitely helped my first invasion of Romania. Um, and yeah, it would have definitely helped against the Brits. But I'm also going to utilize bombers a lot more in the upcoming playthroughs that we're going to do. Um, I also recognize the power of uh, the strength. Um, the brigade strength. As soon as we increase the brigade strength of our brigades in uh, Great Britain, it went from units that were collapsing on a regular basis that was killing our manpower because every time they collapsed they would go from like 4,000 manpower down to zero um, instead of having stuff like that that was destroying our manpower our units were retreating instead so they lose the organization and retreat instead of just collapsing on top of that they had more punch they had more kick they you know there was more um, vibrancy from um, or utilization from a, a division with full strength in comparison to divisions that didn't have it. And my, my supplies, although were stretched sometimes, for the most part, were okay. Also, a uh, thing to note early on in the earlier on in the games is when um, when we got pulled into the the Nazis. Um, if I ever do a hungry campaign again, I probably won't for quite a while if I if I do. But uh, if I do pull hungry campaign again, it'd be important to join the Axis early, rather earlier rather than later, um, to keep me from being pulled in uh, to the Axis, made a puppet of Germany, and you know have to edit. I basically I had to edit the save file in order to make myself not a puppet um, because in my current state I was losing every single one of my uh, resources I, I couldn't build I could I had no supplies I couldn't do anything because all my resources were really suck tribe from Germany but also as a puppet um, I couldn't declare war on anyone so the combination of those two things were essentially almost uh, pretty much ended my gameplay right there and only um, by only by that's the word I'm looking for um, only by editing that save file uh, could I keep playing at least keep playing to a meaningful degree um, so yeah regardless um, I th thank you all again for watching I hope you really enjoyed this playthrough here I know I did. I enjoyed the um, the extent in which Hungary grew, and I hope to do it again. Um, well, maybe not with Hungary, but uh, with the next playthrough, um, the next series, it's going to be right away. I think I'm going to be playing as an allies-aligned country this time, and go from there. So. Um, Yeah, if you like this this video, or if you liked, sorry, the series, if you liked all my videos, please toss a like um, on this video here, or leave a comment in the section below. Uh, and if you like all my videos, or if you want to see more of this stuff, then please subscribe. Um, if you have some suggestions on how to make the series better, on uh, what I can improve on, you know, because I'm relatively new to doing the whole YouTubing experience for the most part so anything you can give me to give me um, tips or pointers on how to become better at this uh, please toss in the comment section below um, but either that thanks one more time and I uh, hope to see you next time until then keeps out <laughs>